This video will teach you the basics of the Fluval G3 canister filter with the Hydrotex Performance Monitor. Remove all of your parts from the box and check your manual to ensure you have everything you need. Measure to ensure there is enough space for the filter to fit behind your aquarium. It is now time to prepare your media. Open the filter to find two cartridges, the mechanical cartridge on the left and the chemical cartridge on the right. First remove the mechanical cartridge by turning the lock counterclockwise and pulling it out gently. Squeeze the release button to remove the cartridge from the cup and shake off any excess debris. Rinse out any impurities and set aside. Repeat the process with the chemical cartridge, but be sure to remove the media from its plastic bag before rinsing. Remove the whole top from the Fluval G3 canister filter by unlatching the four chrome locks and pulling it off gently. Align the red silicone seal in its respective slot. Line up the notches and turns and press it in firmly. Remove the biological media basket cover and set aside. Remove the two biological media baskets. Biological media called genodes are provided. Open up the plastic bags and fill the media baskets with equal parts of large and small genodes. Rinse them in the sink to remove any dust and debris. Place the media baskets and media basket cover back on the filter and put the cover back on. Close the latches but do not force them shut. Readjust the red seal if they do not close easily. Insert the mechanical and chemical cartridges back in their respective slots. Slide them in and turn their locks clockwise. The biological, mechanical, and chemical filtration is now in place. To set up the tubing, first place the suction cups in their clips on the rim attachments so they're facing each other. These rim attachments are made to be on the rim of your aquarium and the suction cups will hold them in place. There are two rim attachments, one for the input and one for the output. Find the telescoping intake stem and attach it to one of the rim attachments. Be sure it's completely sealed. Repeat the process with the output nozzle. Place the rim attachment on the aquarium, attaching them with the suction cups. To place the aquastop tubes, lift both the black and silver levers and insert the aquastop. You should shut both the black and silver levers, even though I have to leave the silver lever up for this demonstration. Slide an end of your hose into the left side of your aquastop. This is the input side. Turn the lock to secure the hose in place. Measure how much hose you'll need and cut accordingly. Keep in mind this is a gravity-fed filter and should always be at least 20 inches below your aquarium's water level. Attach and repeat the process with the output hose. Pump the primer three times and water should start to flow. The Fluval G3 has a state-of-the-art computer system. On the startup screen, you'll see the temperature and connectivity, along with the days since the last maintenance. Scroll down to see the temperature range over the past 8 days, or a chart of connectivity and flow over the past 48 days. You may change the basic global settings as you see fit, but we're going to look more in depth at the operational settings. The operational settings are temperature point, connectivity point, mechanical schedule, chemical schedule, and biological schedule. Temperature points allow you to set the minimum and maximum values for your water temperature range and alarms you when the temperature goes out of this range. Conductivity points allows you to set the minimum and maximum values for your water conductivity range and alarms you when it goes out of this range. The conductivity is a basic measurement of solid particles in your aquarium. The mechanical, chemical, and biological schedules count the days since the last maintenance and alerts you after a select amount of days that it's time for a checkup. This has been an introduction to the Fluval G3 canister filter. 
For more information, visit us in the store or online at www.thatpetplace.com.